really know. I just know I'm here and I'm talking to you guys. And I'm not going to tell you guys that I'm back to be in routine because the way that my setup is, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. But I got to experiment, experiment a little bit more. Maybe because I am in a new apartment and I don't have that third bedroom that I use for my studio slash makeup room like I did my last apartment. Um, yeah, so like I just said, I just moved and I've been in the place for about four days now, four or five days now, and I like it, but it's going to ultimately, ultimately help me save like tons of money because I was paying, you know, a lot of money for my old apartment and now I'm going to be a courtesy officer for the apartments that I'm living in so I get to work here and live here for a discounted price um, so yeah but let us go ahead and get started um, with this face I don't really know where I'm going to go with it if I want to do like a full face or not I did want to kind of like I said chit chat with you guys um, and let you guys know what's going on um, and I am going to be using um, some of my Pure Cosmetics Cameo Contour Sticks, which I really, 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 really adore these um, because mainly like they're pretty freaking convenient in my opinion. So uh, the first one I'm going to use is this one right here and this is the tan and I think this was like close to my shade, um, the darker side of course. Um, Mm. it's pretty close but um what else I am still not in a relationship I broke it off I wasn't in a relationship but I did break out of the friendship the dating cycle um with the last guy that I was talking to uh, guys about um Mainly because the communication was not there like I wanted to. Um, I just felt like, you know, he didn't communicate enough. Like, I worked um, 12 and 13 hours and he worked like 10 hours, like, all the time. So, I felt as if, you know, he had the opportunity to talk to me or send me a message or send me something saying, okay, hey, how's your day? And, you know, I did, like, confront him about it and tell him, like, hey, this is bothering me. And I felt as if, like, okay, if I tell you about it, you should work on it. And I felt as if, you know, he didn't work on it. So, you know, I felt like, how many times have I said I felt like? <laughs> but um, I felt as if I tell you something like that, that our communication isn't there, you aren't working on communication or you know I feel like I want you to do something that involves communicating something that's like very important in every relationship communication you should definitely like you know he need that warning you know what I'm saying and I don't feel as if like you know he put much effort into it because going through a complete day without talking to somebody like it just it bothers the shit out of me I don't feel like you know what I'm saying that person is important to you if you can go a full day without talking to them and the thing was like I would only talk to him when he would come over to my house like late at night you know what I'm saying? we didn't like do the F-U-C-K all the time but I felt it's like you know it was almost like going to get into that little space of like you know being a booty call you know what I'm saying coming over my house like late at night and you know that's the only time that we would talk um, so I didn't want to go that route and, you know, end up, you know, basically becoming booty buddies. So, uh-uh. Yeah. So, as like I said, I had to go ahead and break that off because I was not thrilled about that at all. Communication is key in any relationship. So, with that being said, like, if you're, like, in the beginning stages of any little friendship or anything like that and you like go ahead and confront them about something that you don't like and they don't work on it like you better go ahead and get out of it don't you know get stuck in a relationship 
you know, with somebody that doesn't or isn't willing to work on the things that you are telling them about. Uh, don't fall in love with somebody that doesn't care about your feelings. That's how I feel about it. But that is that as far as the foundation goes. And now I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use the other side of the tan stick and use it as my highlighter. I don't even know why like, I'm highlighting my chin because I got like a little breakout going on down there. And these can get a little dry. So I tend to like maybe spray it with um, some of my Mario Badescu um, spray. Or if it's one of the days where like I'm moisturized really heavy, like it, it doesn't really matter because my face is pretty much moisturized. So I don't bother with, you know, spraying it. Now I'm going to take um, the deep contour stick and it's just another highlight and contour stick on one side. If you didn't know, like, or haven't been following me on Instagram, which I will link my Instagram name somewhere over here. Um, I am on Pure Cosmetics um, PR list and don't think y'all for the most part if you really know me or you've been following me for a while you know like I really don't care I'm gonna tell you the truth regardless of like a company or anything like that if they're bad they're bad they're good they're good I'm gonna tell you and I have like I said I have been using these contour sticks for a while now and I absolutely positively love them. Um, I haven't found anything wrong with them. They're a little bit um, better than, what you wanna call that? That, what you call the girl? Kim Kardashian, I don't know why I can't think of her. Did um, buy the um, Kim K contour um, sticks and they are as horrible as everybody is saying them to be. Like, it's just completely ridiculous about how much you get in in it like and it just breaks down like really really fast like one use of the highlighter is like you're like basically like a third finish with it so I'm telling you like don't waste your money on it because unless you, unless you're somebody that doesn't really use a whole lot of product then go for it try it out but if you're somebody that you know you know that you kind of like use a whole lot of product all over your face i would not buy that at all like it's not worth it and then the chick the chick ain't even got free shipping yet like uh-uh because that product is like fifty dollars and to me that's a lot of money and then you still don't have free shipping mm -mm, boo. you gotta work on that you really really gotta work on that it's creeping up some of you guys know like I am a police officer. Some of you guys have maybe seen me do like um, or show you guys a video, not a video, but a picture of me in my bum suit. I am on a specialized team and it is the bomb squad as well as the street crime scene. And I um, absolutely love blowing up things. It's really fun, it's unique, it's, it's different. A lot of black people aren't going to try stuff like that and I am a person that's going to try stuff like that so I like it I have fun you know learning different things and I definitely want to break that you know that ideal that like you know black people are, are so scary that they're not gonna you know try things like that so like I said I am on the bum squad and in November there will not be any videos because I will have, um, I'll be going to Huntsville, Alabama for training to be a certified bomb technician. So yeah, and no, I don't cut wires or anything like that. We don't cut, we don't cut wires. Well, we don't maybe like, you know, hire up like the FBI does, but our team doesn't like, we try to, um, encapsulate or, um, 
basically place it inside of something, put a lid on it and blow it up in that manner or um, move it to go and blow it up. Things like that. Um, but we do not, we do not uh, cut wires. Everybody thinks like, okay, you're cutting wires. Not everybody cuts wires for things that you possibly think that are But I'm going to take the dark contour and use the darker side. And I'm gonna use a Sigma medium angle brush. And I'm gonna use this to contour my nails. I wanted to, well, I'm not gonna lie, I've done like three, I've recorded three times, like trying to do my um, my skincare routine or my um, skincare products that I've been using on my skin to kind of keep it clear, but either I haven't liked them or the freaking like video cuts out on me like halfway in, so. I'm gonna try it one day, especially when my skin clears up again. Because you can keep your skin clear, but you're gonna have those still, you're still gonna have those occasional breakouts. And for me, uh, my breakouts occur when I'm eating dairy products that I know I shouldn't be eating, but I can't help it because I feel like, you know, I should take like a freebie day. And I know like it's gonna clear back up on me. So, you know, that's why, that's, that's why I do it. Um, what else? What else? I'm going to take a little bit of the RCMA No Color Powder and I absolutely have been loving, loving, loving this powder to basically set my entire face. I do go back behind it with um, like, you know, Mac Mineralize Skin Finish and stuff like that. It doesn't give you any cast or anything like that, but I still like to like reinforce my color by going with that Mac Mineralize Skin Finish or the um, Mac Studio Fix Powder. You don't have to, cause like I said, it is, it's literally no color, um, but that's just what I like to do. I have also been, um, like, far as my clients, I haven't used it on myself, but looking at it on my clients, I have absolutely positively been loving, loving the um, Meron uh, foundations. I haven't depotted them or anything like that. I've just kept them inside of their containers that, that they come with. I have um, Dark 4, Dark 3, Dark 1, um, and a couple of the, like, lighter white shades um, just for like mixing so that I can use that as like a highlight but um, it is like really full coverage and it it blends out so crazily like with the um what you call it the black opal I don't use them straight from tube I have them deep like you know you kind of have to like really like spatula them out a little bit and take like maybe like a actual foundation brush like a flatter concealer type brush and um you know place them onto the skin but with the mirror like i take it straight from the um the what's the name the container and use a beauty blender and place it onto their skin and it's like freaking butter like it's it's so good and I saw it, I, I, I have been had, you know, some of the Meron foundations, but I wasn't using them. I really bought them for myself and I bought some white shades for my whiter clients or my white people. <laughs> um, so, you know, that I would have in my kit, but I would, like I said, I wasn't using them, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I should have, but the other day, you know, I watched Color Du Jour's, um, uh, makeup application on her uh, workshop and I just like the way that it looks so I decided I was going to try that out and I actually tried it out on um, 
a bridal group that I had the other day and oh my god like everybody's skin was like buttery like smooth and I absolutely loved it so I have been using it lately on all of my clients I have not used it on myself because I have textured skin so I know mine is not gonna look like that quite yet but wait on it okay so everybody that you see my clients I'm using that mirror on now because it's amazing I also do have the um which call the lady Danessa Myricks foundation that shit is super 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 full coverage like wow and um both have like that satiny finish like neither one of them are matte whatsoever so you're definitely going to have to powder it down even if they have dry skin I know you're gonna have to powder it down but at the end like the finish of it like especially like if you're doing maybe like a photo shoot makeup you definitely maybe want to try it out because it's absolutely amazing not even lying to you so I have basically you know just taken that and placed it all over my face I really did use a lot like in my um, highlighted areas but I did go over everything else just to make it like an even even base before I put on my powder so it looks like this and I may be looking like you know kind of whitish but once it settles down it's like it's just really like still natural you know I can finish but my studio fix powder in the shade NC47 and I'm going to use that all over my face. And I'm using the Pure Cosmetics um, powder brush. It has like the like rainbow-ish type of look to it. Or the unicorn type of look to it. Because it is the collection uh, brush for the My Little Pony. Um, movie that I'm definitely going to watch because I love My Little Ponies and my little girl loves My Little Ponies. I am a Rainbow Dash fan. Absolutely love her. Heaven, I think, really loves Pinkie Pie and the purple one, Twilight Sparkle. But I like Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash is really crazy. And uh, Applejack. <laughs> Now I'm going to take um, my, what you call it, my contour refills from Anastasia and I'm going to use cinnamon first. This is just going to warm up my face and I'm going to use the um, blush brush from Pure Cosmetics. Now I'm going to take the shade um, Karab and I'm going to further corn, corn, contour um, my cheekbones. So if you are watching this video and you've watched all the way to this point, I would love, love, love and so appreciate if you can go on to like any of my pictures where my, my brows have been kind of banging and you see that I've used Benefit Cosmetics brow products, tag Benefit Cosmetics, okay? Tag them for me because they are having a contest where everybody creates like some of their, um, their brow salves and if you win you get to go to like I think it's Lake Tahoe or something and I would love 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 to go because 
your girl never goes anywhere and I would love to go of course I'm gonna take the um, get a grip um, shadow primer from pure cosmetics and it looks like this here it looks kind of like you know the um, Urban Decay um, primer a little bit getting definitely kind of tacky and take their new palette and this is the my little pony collection palette I'm gonna take this white shape right here and I guess you can kind of say that this is sponsored because considering that they did send me these products but I'm using that white shade to set that primer I don't know if I'm like kind of going crazy or not, but my eyelids are kind of tingly. Um, I and it, I don't think they're I don't they weren't tingly before I put that um that primer on. They're kind of tingly, kind of like when you put on that NYX um, glitter liner. Does anybody else get that like kind of tingly feeling when they uh, use those or it kind of burns your eyes? That's what that primer just kind of did. It, it was very subtle, nothing like the next one, but it did kind of tingle. I am using this little mauve shade. I'm going to use that for my um, transition shade. And that is pretty freaking pigmented. I've never used like powdered shadows from... Um, from Pure Cosmetics, but I have used like, you know, some liquid ones and the uh, creamy ones that they had that came in like the pots. But that is definitely pigmented. I'm very impressed, very impressed. Um, brown shade right here. I'm use that same brush. Yeah, that is yeah, that is still pretty pigmented as well. I'm honestly pretty impressed. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I thought you know the shadows are gonna be kind of weak, and maybe it's that that um that primer. Who knows? But I definitely thought the shadows were definitely going to be like kind of poor quality. Only because I've never tried it. But you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover. But anyway. Um, yeah. Pretty freaking pigmented. Now I'm going to take this gold shade into the palette. Just keeping it safe. And there was a little bit of fallout. It did kind of like break down a little bit. Oh wow. Um, I did spray my brush just now. And like, I don't know if y'all can tell, but this, this color is popping. It's really freaking popping. It's like shit popping. Like, honestly, wow. Still kind of impressing me here in Pure Cosmetics Room. Like it's really like that color is really really vibrant. Yeah, I'm definitely digging this shade. And I am using the Pure Cosmetics Shadow Brush. To apply this like I'm really you never like you never never hear anything about pure cosmetics so it's just like this is definitely like surprising me well you don't hear anything about them for our shadows though 
I'm going to take um, that brown shade to my lower lash line using the crease brush. They have a few little um, glow sticks. This is the shade Joyful. And I am going to swatch that for you right here. Looks like this. It's like a pinky purple holographic shade. I hope you guys can really see that. This is Blissful. And I'm going to swatch it right next to the other one. And there's that one. It's like a pretty pinky shade. And the last shade is called Cheerful. And I will swatch that one. Um, and when these set, like I've tried, like I've um, swatched them on my hands um, for Instagram, swatched them on my hands and the shit didn't want to go. So I'm going to place that one into my inner tear duct and this one again is cheerful. So now out of camera, I am going to apply me some lashes and some liner, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so now I have my lashes on. I'm going to take the ABH That Glow Kit, and I am going to just go in the two shades on the side with my uh, makeup brush, my makeup brush set brush, fan brush. Okay, so there is my glove for the day. I did try those um, glow sticks. I started like by trying to do my little button nose. Those are a little too, you know, playful for me to be playing on my, my face like that. I'm not doing any type of editorial look or anything like that. So I don't feel like these are perfect for my everyday life. They are not consistent. Um, the consistency of them aren't like, they don't have like perfect consistency um, for for me either. So um, I can't quite use them like as a lid color by themselves either. I did try these yesterday. So the glow sticks, like you would probably have to use your fingers to make them a little bit like better for as consistency goes. Um, but I did try them yesterday and I put like an eyeshadow over top of them because they started to kind of like flake a little bit if you use like way too much. So you have to be like very kind of, not light handed, but you know, less is more um, type of thing to go with those because if you use too much, they'll crack and I think they have dried now. So I'm going to show you like I'm really like scrubbing against it like to get it. Oh, eh. yeah, it's, 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 they like, when they set, they set. So, they're really good as far as like, I would say like, what, transfer resistant and all that. Yeah, they're really hard to get off, but you have to do less is more type of thing. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Milk Cosmetics, um, no, this is not Milk Cosmetics. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sellout. I'm going to use this as a base for one of the um, glitter toppers. I'm 
going to use Fluttershy, the shade Fluttershy, and it's like a iridescent, um, orangey, pinky shade. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's really gorgeous in the tube, so I'm going to try it off on the lips and see. On the lips, it is like a pinky shade. And the glitter, like, I, the, what I like about these, like, the glitter isn't, like, overwhelming. And they give you a look like that iridescent kind of look. And they aren't sticky at all. Yeah, I like that. Kind of basic, but well, the look is kind of basic when it comes down to the lips, but I like it. You know, it's just something. But there's not as much like glittery type looks. In, in this one as the orange shade has let me show you and this is the orange shade that I really really like and it is Applejack Jackie Anna's uh, Instagram store you probably saw that shade that's the shade that she put on that looked uber amazing on her on her skin tone like it looks okay on me but it looked like damn bitch like on her like ugh, you made me sick I liked it on her a whole whole lot but it looks good on me too but just not like as amazing as it did on Jackiana ah that's just sticking together so you guys that is my finished look for today I did take a little bit of my Mer Bay um glitter liner from LA Splash into my crease area to like bring it together but um yeah that's my finished look i hope you guys liked it i know this video, video is super super long um let me go through on one of my wigs and i'll show you like everything together hey guys so i decided not to put on a wig let you guys see my hair a little bit for right now because i do like the color and this is the finished look you guys are probably not gonna like this video but I'm going to put it up anyways. See you guys in the next one. And hopefully it'll be shorter. And I don't know. See you guys next time. Bye.